Thank you. This little tip will probably apply more for people who are working on music videos. I just wanted to tune you guys in on the update because let me see if I can start it without this on and see if it still makes the same noise. Vlad two two two. Thank you. quick tip with you guys you guys see those markers in most editing softwares there's usually markers available you're allowed to place a marker this little tip will probably apply more for people who are working on music videos than films or you know short skits or any of that when you're working on a music video and let's say if you have a storyline going on and you know that at certain peaks of the song you know at a chorus there might be a certain uh, cinematic film scene that should go on or at a bridge or somewhere in the song there's points where certain things are supposed to happen climaxes or, or actions right so when you're editing I know everybody has their own preference and their own um, tips and tricks that they like to use this is all based on personal preference but what I like to do is like if I know something's gonna happen let's say for example if I know at this point of the song there's supposed to be an explosion or like that motorcycle sound that just went on for no apparent reason you guys see why it's important to have silent motorcycles anyway if there's supposed to be a specific action that's supposed to happen right here on the song then I would mark it there with a marker and then on the marker you're actually allowed uh, you're actually allowed you heard me slurring you're actually allowed to double click the marker and when you double click the marker you can name it so you can name the marker whatever you want to name it you see over here it allows you to name it it right here has it as a gap but you can name it like explosion or if it's supposed to be a fight scene or if it's supposed to be you know the glass drops at that specific peak of the song then you can mark it and if you have several or, or, or ten different climaxes you know what I mean several just as a figurative speech but if you have a few different climaxes you mark all your climaxes it gives you a good bumper reference on your time frame so you know when you're supposed to drop certain things in the video so that's just a little tip, y'all. You know what I mean? A little quick tip. I'm sorry about the background noises and sound effects. I can't control the environment around me, but um, I'm editing and I gotta get back to editing, guys. Let me get focused. Damn, I watched the hoopty. I drank some lemonade. I ate some Chipotle. And I didn't even take her along with me on the ride. Listen to this. So I'm looking at a website and I'm learning about scooter variators and clutches and whatnot. And I was looking at different things that could be diagnosed uh, with the problem that I'm having. 
And I read a few articles that said something about that a piston could chip and it could potentially be inside the crank or the transmission somewhere. Or it says something right here about the words of that the rollers. Let me show you when you take off. Bam, these drums right here it says that the rollers that they wear and it says that when they wear that it causes a rattling noise. So I'm not sure if it's that or if it's anything else. But what I'm about to do is just spend some time to go over everything, go over every bolt, every nut, and just make sure everything's tightened. If everything externally looks tightened, the next step would be to open up the case and start taking everything off, like the bell housing and whatnot, to check those rollers. Rollers is the cheapest thing that could need replacing. A head and piston and a bottom end and all that other stuff is a lot more expensive. Um, preferably, I would love to skip the rollers and hope it's just a loose bolt or something, but who knows? But I just wanted to tune you guys in on the update because I thought that was interesting that it said that it can cause vibration and cause a rattling because that's exactly what we're getting. We're getting a rattling. Wish me luck. So we just took off the case and something just completely came off. I don't even know what this is exactly. It's a little disc right here. And there's some teeth right here. I'm not sure if this is probably where the kicker. I think this is where the kicker was at. Yeah, this is where the kicker was at. Let me see if I can start it without this on it and see if it still makes the same noise. That'll be a good idea. That's if it starts. It should start though. I mean, I don't see anything preventing it from starting. I'm gonna blow up, watch it. No, smack them. Because he was talking, so I didn't know you needed that. Because it was it's cool. Smack, you smack that mosquito. <laughs>